Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. I want to I want to give you a guide to postmenopausal health and longevity for women, and it's really important because certain things happen during menopause and after menopause that can really set the stage for some serious health conditions and some decline in degeneration and quality of life. Now, of course, you know menopause is that point in a woman's life when menstrual cycles come to an end. There's all kinds of symptoms, and so why does it happen? It happens because at the end of a menstrual cycle, normally estrogen and progesterone levels are low. There's glands in the brain that pick that signal up, and then it, they send hormones through the bloodstream down to the ovaries to get another menstrual cycle started. Those hormones are called FSH and LH, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. We just call them FSH and LH. They tell the ovaries to get those immature egg follicles that are in there to start developing and maturing, and they do. And then usually around day 14, one of them outpaces the rest, sort of pops out of the ovary and into the fallopian tube, and we call that, of course, we call that ovulation. And uh, while it's developing back in the ovary, it's producing estrogen. While it's rolling down the fallopian tube, it's also producing estrogen. And the part that gets left behind in the ovary after ovulation, the corpus luteum, as it's called, because it, it's a, a yellow body, so the luteum is a yellowish uh, pigment, the corpus luteum secretes progesterone, that's my point. Now, if that egg doesn't become fertilized uh, in its travels down the fallopian tube, then it eventually runs out of steam, it dries up, and it stops producing estrogen. Estrogen levels will drop. The part in the ovary, if pregnancy doesn't occur, will also shrivel up and progesterone levels drop down. And now we're back to low levels of those hormones, and you have menstruation occurring. So that's when you slough off the endometrium. And then the glands in the brain say, okay, girls, let's do it again next month. So you start again. So what happens at menopause? Well, what happens is you still have some egg follicles left, but these are eggs that are a lot less responsive to those hormones. So the brain knows they're in the ovaries. So it's bombarding the ovaries to try to get another menstrual cycle started. But the eggs are not responding. These are like the least intelligent eggs you have left, I guess. And so the bombardment of follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone also causes a, a spillover effect. You start to produce adrenaline, which is sort of a neurotransmitter. And at the same time, your estrogen and progesterone levels are still way down. So this huge hormonal imbalance and surge of adrenaline can last five to seven years and produce all kinds of symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, personality changes, you know, skin dryness, vaginal dryness, you know, thinning of your hair. You know the symptoms. And estrogen level stays down, and, that, and calcium leaks out of bone, and that can lead to osteoporosis and all kinds of problems. So the medical treatment originally was to give women hormone replacement therapy, to give them estrogen and progesterone, but originally they used synthetic drugs which turned out to be a bit dangerous because they increased risk of breast cancer, stroke, and heart disease. You probably know that. More recently, do some doctors use bioidentical hormones. I still have concerns about it because any type of estrogen can cause cells to divide too quickly, and we think that's how you increase risk of breast cancer. When cells divide too fast, they make more genetic mistakes. So the jury is still out on how safe bioidentical hormones are in terms of the estrogen component. I'm totally comfortable, by the way, with natural progesterone. And there are natural herbal agents and dietary factors that can really manage menopausal symptoms and should be used into the postmenopausal years, things that are safe and non-toxic that I want you to know about. But in those postmenopausal years, because of the, all the hormonal changes that have occurred, women become very prone, not only to osteoporosis, but to heart disease. More women die of heart disease after the age of 50 than any other condition. So you need to know how to reduce your risk of vascular disease, particularly keeping your cholesterol in the ideal range. Cholesterol tends to shoot up after the age of 50 in women. So you should go to machinohealth.com and download my free ebook on uh, my, my uh, cholesterol-lowering lifestyle program, which is right there. It'll, it'll explain how to keep your cholesterol down. You need some endurance exercise to keep your heart healthy. Uh, you know, it, it, preventing heart disease is really important for women after 50. The other thing that might catch up with you, of course, is osteoporosis. You need to be getting 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams of calcium a day from food and supplementation. You need vitamin D at at least 1,000 to 2,000 IUs a day to get your blood level well above 85 nanomoles per liter. You need 500 milligrams of magnesium. There's an herb called uh, the epimedium herb that contains a flavonoid called the icarin flavonoid. You can learn about this on our website. But it's been shown to increase bone density even in women who are postmenopausal 
and you need resistance exercise or weight training exercises, I think you know that. And you can learn more about how to prevent osteoporosis at machinohealth.com. It's important that you do. You also have to know how to reduce your risk of breast cancer because as women get older, the, the risk for breast cancer starts to skyrocket after 50 in particular. I have an ebook on that called The 10 Steps to Prevent Breast Cancer that all women should see. It's at machinohealth.com as well. And also, if you need help in terms of, in terms of natural libido and sexual uh, enhancement type of uh, supplements, you can learn about that at machinohealth.com. There are some natural things that can help maintain that part of your quality of life as well. But to get started, the first thing you should do is download my ebook called The Natural Management of Menopause. It's available right here. Just so you see, you know, what all the changes that occurred in your body that are setting the stage for these things. And I touch on heart disease and vascular disease in that booklet to give you sort of a head start on how to pre prevent that as well as osteoporosis. So you should download that right now. Uh, the natural management of menopause that I wrote with all the scientific references, you'll now understand what the lifestyle strategies ought to be for you. It's really important in terms of quality of life and longevity. Now, machinohealth.com. You'll also see my other research review articles, other videos that I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other uh, resources and downloads that I created that will help you lead a, a long, healthy, functional life, not just stay alive, but so you're highly functioning as the years tick by, body and mind. So um, those research articles and all my teaching materials that you'll see there have all the scientific references in them so you'll know you're getting only scientific evidence-based information on any health topic that you might be looking for. And so you should really use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family because you know you're going to get good sound scientific information from me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Music